All right, this last year has been tough on the Girl Scouts. They're usually uh, out and about in the community, but a lot had to be put on hold during the pandemic. Well, now they're getting back out there, and in Windsor, a group of fifth grade scouts turned something old into something new again. Most Cole stopped by to see their project and what they hope to attract. Aubrey, Lena, and Sage are Girl Scouts in Windsor. They love the field trips, the friendship, and the fun. Since COVID, we've been online, but now we've been starting going out some places. One of their first outings was right here in front of Bart's restaurant. They planted a garden inside this old canoe. Something that someone won't be using anymore and we turned it into a planter for the environment. That's so great. Mm -hmm. And it's not just any garden, it's a monarch garden and the hope is to attract monarch butterflies. Troop leader Candicia Avery reached out to the Windsor Monarch Project to see how the girls could get involved. They said, uh, we have an opportunity for you to uh, help us plant some planters in a canoe outside of Bart's. You know where that is? And I said, sure. And so what our girls did is they took some of the funds that they earned from their cookie projects and other fundraisers that they did, and they bought the plants that um, the Monarch Project told us would be best for attracting butterflies. Betty Jo Davis is the co-founder of the Windsor Monarch Project. So the Monarch Project, we started about four years ago, and we decided we needed some gardens in town that had a lot of the plants that they needed, milkweed being uh, the most important. So milkweed is for, like, butterflies if they, or caterpillars, if they come and they take a bite, <clears throat> and there's like a crescent-shaped part, that means they were here, and it was like, I guess, a monarch butterfly, but um, it doesn't seem like they took any bites. The hope is to soon see some tiny caterpillar eggs on this milkweed. And these bright flowering plants will attract the butterflies. They use those for nectar, the butterflies do, and they like uh, plants that have a flat surface so that they can sit on it and their proboscis, which is their tongue, can actually go in and get the nectar. So the goal for this is to actually create butterflies and also have other butterflies come and enjoy it. Exactly. So the pretty part is the food for the butterflies. This plant, this plant, and that plant are the food for the caterpillars. Okay. So we want to get the whole cycle here. So it must be nice to drive by because this is pretty centrally located in town, right? Uh, well, it's pretty centrally located, yes. We drive by and we take a look at the, take a look at, see how the flowers are doing. They noticed that one wasn't doing so well and they plucked it out. <laughs> so yeah, it's pretty nice. And um, a lot of people have noticed it and they were on the broadcast at um, school <laughs> for this project. So it's been pretty exciting. I hope that, um, that monarch butterflies and other butterflies come too to see the beautiful, um, beautiful um, garden in this canoe we made. Coming up July 2nd through the 13th, you'll be able to see more planters like this scattered around a one mile loop through Windsor. It's all part of the Upcycled Planter Project. We're going to have over 35 planters on display, similar to this canoe. There may be a toilet in there, too, where people <laughs> have taken items that were of no use and made it into an interesting planter. So we invite you to come down, help us raise some money to get some more gardens planted to support the monarchs. All right, we're going to link the Windsor Monarch Project's website on Better CT. You can find out more information about their upcoming event.